Good morning, good day, good afternoon. My name is Alexander Morose, and today we're going to talk about how to overclock Radeon 5750 and push it beyond the 850 megahertz um, that is limited by the AMD drivers and by the AMD overdrive technology. Uh, to do so, we are going to use um, two different programs at the same time. Alright, and just a little bit background about me. I'm the overclocker, hardware enthusiast, uh, web developer, web designer, uh, graphic designer, and uh, uh, programmer. So, um, and also I'm using today Maros Video Capture to capture this little tutorial. Uh, the little software that was developed by me to capture the desktop screen, to do your own video tutorials, or to capture the game screen while you're playing your games. Alright, and please pause and read every single piece of text on this video. So, here's the information, what do we need? And let me go ahead and explain to you where we can get that freeware software that we need to over uh, that we need to uh, to overclock our Radeon 5750. And keep in mind that this method will work on any Windows, as Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, and also on 32 and 64 bits. And also, this uh, method or tutorial will work on any 5750 video cards. ASUS or uh, MSI or EVGA and etc. EVGA d does make radions, but anyway, Subfire and other video. So, folks, all what we need to do here, we need to download three freeware softwares uh, that is absolutely free and it's excellent tool for the overclocking 5750 radion video card. And we also need to download the latest AMD driver. ATI AMD driver. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna download the latest ATI video driver. I'm gonna type ATI Catalyst driver download in the google.com search box. Gonna click search and gonna click on the first link that's gonna bring us to the amd.com website which is official website for the ATI video cards gonna select desktop graphics if it's for the desktop or netbook if it's going to be in a laptop select the series HD 75XXX and my operating system in my case it's XP 32-bit display results and it's gonna display the drivers and um, it's gonna tell me English I'm gonna select the English and stuff like this and then I'm gonna download that stuff alright so um, just go ahead and do that and it doesn't matter what kind of version you have the newer version you have is better I'm using the 10.5 XP ATI Catalyst drivers but if you're gonna have 11 or something else it's just also fine as well so next what I'm gonna do I'm gonna download the GPU Z little tool and I'm gonna type GPU Z download in the search box of Google and it's gonna be tech power up downloads gonna click in there gonna click in there and it doesn't matter as well what kind of version gonna click download now and select the server click on it and save it to my hard drive all right and it doesn't matter as well what kind of, what kind of version the newer version is better all right and gonna click save and it's gonna save it all right so next thing what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go and I'm gonna download the um, ATI Tray Tools download and it's from guru3d.com website I'm gonna click on it it's gonna bring me to their website gonna click download button select the server and download this application alright and it doesn't matter what kind of version as well um, if you're gonna have the newer version it's just fine alright and the next thing what I'm gonna do I'm gonna download the latest I mean the last um, freeware that we are going to use it's going to be MSI afterburner download and it's gonna bring me the first link gonna click on it and it's gonna bring me to their website msi.com 
gonna click download and I'm gonna download the afterburner all right so let me go ahead after you download that uh, let me go ahead and um, uh, introduce you to uh, basic information about the video cards and GPUs and uh, video memory and frequencies and we're gonna go ahead and then move to the next stage all right all right folks I will let you read this and let's get down to business now all right I'm assume that you just read the basic information about the video cards you know what is GPU what is core clock what is memory clock and now let's go ahead and install your software what we downloaded GPU Z ATI tool tray and MSI afterburner as well as some newer drivers and let's assume that you already installed them and let's go ahead and move let's start with the GPU Z click on a uh, short key short key it's gonna run the application and it's gonna give us some basic information about our video card not even basic even beyond the basic basically all the information that we need to know also the sensors over here so and default clock on the core speed or GPU speed is 700 megahertz and memory speed is 1150 megahertz so this is what from the manufacturer and uh, if something gonna go wrong during the overclocking you can on also uh, manually set this to this uh, default clocks all right also you can see some pixel field rate texture field rate and uh, uh, memory bandwidth and this is some information is going to uh, is going to increase during the overclock and just because of that it's gonna give us better performance and performance close or equal it to 5770 and which will save us about 40 bucks and so we can buy a new game and have about the same performance all right so uh, let's go ahead and start to uh, overclock our video card first we're gonna run the MSI afterburner uh, application it's a freeware and <coughs> and <coughs> I'm sorry <coughs> and then to um, overclock our uh, uh, video card on the basic level or on the level that AMD drivers supports or AMD overdrive technology supports but if we want to go beyond that I'm gonna explain to you later on on this tutorial how to do this unfortunately this tutorial is not going to be in one 10 minutes video tutorial just because I'm um, explaining a lot of basic information for the beginners so I'm going to split this tutorial into two parts and 10 minutes each so make sure to watch all the two parts so basically what we're going to do core clock I know that uh, maximum what AMD allows for this uh, 5750 is 850 megahertz and let me prove it to you if we're gonna set let's say 870 I'm gonna click apply it's not gonna do this because drivers is not uh, uh, drivers doesn't allow us to do this so what we gotta do I know the maximum is 850 for any 5750 um, Radeon video cards on the GPU core clock is equally as GPU clock you already read that information so 850 we're gonna click apply and it's gonna hold it this is the maximum speed that uh, AMD drivers allows and if we're gonna go 863 it's uh, basically it's not gonna go to that actually it went to that but I believe that it's wrong uh, let's go ahead and run the GPU Z. We always can verify by running the GPU Z. Multiple application to verify. Yes, actually it is. All right, it's let it's allow us to set it to that after we set it to 850. But not anymore. If I want to set it 890, you can see I can. not I'm gonna click apply it's just going back means that it's not taking that um, GPU frequency and um, 
Why? Because it's probably limited by the drivers, by the AMD drivers. So I'm going to explain to you how to pass this. And let's, but before that, let's go ahead and overclock the memory. I know my memory can, and easy, and any memory, and Radeon 5750 desktop video cards can go to 1200 easily. Gonna click apply, and it's 1200 now. If I will um, check my GPU Z, it's refreshing itself immediately at 1200. All right. So uh, now I know that my memory clock is uh, good up to 